In today's video, we'll be doing a full tutorial on Kajabi's website builder. We'll be showing you how you can transform your Kajabi theme from the old and boring look to the new and modern Kajabi theme. And we'll show you how you can build a beautiful and modern Kajabi website from scratch in less than 10 minutes. The first thing that you want to do when creating a modern and beautiful looking Kajabi website is to first change the default theme. And in order to do this, you head over to your Kajabi dashboard and you click website. And under website, you would click manage themes. And by default on any Kajabi site, you're gonna see the Encore theme, which is installed. Now, if you were to use this theme, this is what it would look like. The problem with this theme is that it's very outdated and it doesn't look very good. And you're not really able to fully customize the theme and really make it your own. That's why we always recommend using a different Kajabi theme. And in order to change your theme, you just click pick a theme. And from here, you'll be able to look at every single theme that Kajabi has to offer and they're completely free. Now, depending on your brand and what sort of product you're selling, you're gonna to wanna to go through each one of these and see which website template is best suited for you and your brand. For this tutorial, we're going to go with the Kim theme, but the steps and strategies that we're gonna to use to customize this theme can be used for any other Kajabi theme. And once the theme is activated, you're gonna to wanna to customize it um, to add all of your content, your colors, your pictures, and really make the website your own. Now this is what your Kajabi builder is going to look like once you start customizing your website. On the left hand side of the Kajabi builder would be every single section that's on the website. So instead of manually scrolling down each section of the website, you can click on the left hand side on any section and it takes you directly to that section. And when editing, it's important to note the differences between sections and blocks. The section would refer to the overall section. So if we were to edit anything in the section, then it would change this whole background here. And the blocks are within the sections. So this text is a part of a block. And these three different columns are also a part of a block. So again, this would be, <clears throat> so again, the purple part would be the section and the block would be the image and the text on the right hand side of the screen. The best part about Kajabi's website builder is that it's very intuitive. So what that means is anything that you want to edit, all you have to do is click on that section or that block and you'll be able to edit. So starting from the top of the website, we're going to edit the menu bar. So this section here would be your menu bar. So this is where your store, your library, about you, and any other pages that you want to add would be on the menu bar. And if you wanted to change your logo, then you would just click edit and you would select a logo. Now keep in mind when uploading your logo, you want to make sure the dimensions fit into what's recommended by Kajabi. And a quick tip is you want to make sure that you're cropping out any white space in the logo. So that means that you're not going to be taking up any additional space on the menu bar if you don't need to. And also when you're editing your menu bar, you want to make sure that you're thinking about whether or not you want to have a sticky header or you want the header to disappear when the customer starts scrolling. So if you don't know what that is, it's very simple. So right now we do have the sticky header enabled. So what that means is when you scroll down our page, our header menu stays on the page. So if someone wanted to navigate or go on a different page, they can easily do so. But if you didn't want to enable your header, then you would just unclick enable sticky header. Now, if you've unchecked sticky header, when you scroll down, the header menu wouldn't be seen at the top of the page. Now, if you wanted to add or remove any section such as the store, library, account, or contact, then all you have to do is click edit. And from the menu, you click edit your link list. And once you do this, you'll be able to either add a new section such as a product, um, a page or any link that you like on the navigation menu. And if you like to remove a section on the menu, then you would just click the pencil and you would click delete. So now that you've customized your header menu, it's time to edit your hero image. 
Now your hero image is going to be the first section right after your menu. To edit the background of your hero section, then you want to just click on the background itself. So this would be the section. So once we click here, all you have to do is scroll down to the background image and this is where you'll be able to change the image of your hero section. And also keep in mind the dimensions that are best for the hero section. So we want to change this block, we would just click edit. And from this text area, this is where we'll be able to add any of our own custom messaging. And if you need to change the size or if you want to make a text bold or if you want to change the color of the text, you can do it all in this text editor section. And now we're going to edit this button. And to do so, again, you just click on the button and from the left hand side, you'll be able to edit that call to action. Now, if you wanted to change the button background color, then we can do so here. And if you wanted to change the button style, you can do so as well. If you want to check out what a solid would look like or the outline. Your hero section is very important to your website. This is going to be the first thing that people see when they enter your website. So you want to make sure that you're taking the time out to get a very high quality hero image and you want to make sure that you have a clear call to action in your hero section. And you want to make sure that you're always taking a look at any of the changes that you're making. And to do so, all you have to do is collapse the left menu and you can see what the full website would look like with the changes that you've made. And these are the changes that we made so far on the header and the hero image. And a quick tip, if you want to change the primary colors, or the button colors or the text colors from the default colors that are in the themes that you chose, then you can just head over to design tools, sorry, style guide. And from here, you'll be able to change those colors. So you won't have to manually go into each and every single section and block and change those colors. And don't worry if any of the text doesn't change, you can always do so manually. So now we'll move on to the next sections and we're just going to click that section in which we want to edit. Now, if you want to change the section background, you can just click so and you can change it from there. For this section, I'm going to leave it blank for now. We'll see if we want to change it afterwards, uh, but we are going to change this block right here. And if you just want to change a specific word, then you just highlight that word and you can change the color and only that color will change. And also, if you wanted to make this block a little different, like for instance, if you wanted to add a border, then you would scroll down to background. And from background, you'll change the border type from nothing to solid, dotted, dashed, whatever you would like to do for that block. So we're going to do a solid border for this block. And you want to make sure that if it's a call to action, that you're including the link in which the customer will go to if they were to click that button. And once you're finished making your edits, just take a look at what the section looks like. And if you're happy with it, you can move on to the next section. Now, if you wanted to change the arrangement in which your sections are showing up on your website, then you would do so by just moving each section to where you want it to be. So for instance, if I wanted this section to be above or to come before this section, then all I would do is drag this section right above it. And now you can see that right after the hero section, we're going to have this section in place instead of the three column section. So again, you just want to make sure that you're doing whatever makes the most sense for your website. You can always play around with it to really make the website your own. Now we want to change the background color, of course, to our branded colors. So we're going to go with the black here. If you want to change the alignment of the text, then you would just in this text editor, you would click formats. You would go to inline. Sorry, you would go to alignment. And then from alignment, you'll be able to choose left, center, right, or however you would like your text to be aligned. And you just want to make sure that you're taking a look at the section once you've made some changes. And if you're happy with it, then you can move on to the rest of the website. 
Now, if there's any section on the website in which you want to delete, then all you have to do is head over to that section. So let's say um, we wanted to delete this section here. On the left hand side of the Kajabi Builder, we can click the three dots and then scroll down to delete. And in that way, we'll be able to delete any section that we don't want to have on our website. Now, if you also wanted to add a section, you would just click add section. And from here, you'll be able to choose from a variety of sections. So let's say we wanted to add a FAQ section, then we can choose between this um, sort of style or the grid style. Since we've added in our FAQ section, we're just gonna go ahead and edit this very quickly. And to do so, again, you just click on the section and the heading is gonna be the question while the body is going to be the answer. And once you edit the heading and the body sections for your FAQ, this is what it's going to look like on your website. So students or customers will be able to click the plus button and then they'll be able to see the answer for the question in which you've created. And following these steps in every single section that you want to add, edit or delete, you'll be able to create a well-branded but most importantly, a responsive and modern Kajabi website. So you just want to continue to repeat this process for any sections that you want to add. And once you're finished, you're going to want to edit your footer. And to do so, again, you just click on the footer. And if you want to edit what's in your footer menu, then again, you can click edit your links list and scroll down to the footer. And from the footer section, you'll be able to add a product, a page, a link, whatever you would like to have on your footer. Also, you'll be able to upload your logo. And as you can see, it didn't take us very long to create this website, but we were able to create a very modern, engaging and responsive website in a very short period of time. As you can see, there's a huge difference between the website that we created and the default Kajabi theme. And of course, this is just the home page. So if you wanted to edit any other pages on your website, you would just head over to the toolbar at the bottom of the Kajabi Builder, and then you would click the page in which you wanted to edit. And you would use the same strategies that we used in editing the home page to edit any other pages on your website. And as you can see, in a matter of minutes, you're able to create a beautiful, engaging, and modern Kajabi website to host your online course, membership site, or online program. Creating a website used to be a very complicated and time-consuming process, but Kajabi has made that process a lot easier with their intuitive and user-friendly Kajabi website builder. With the website builder, any beginner can build a beautiful website in a matter of minutes. We hope that you enjoyed this video and that you're well on the way to creating your own Kajabi website. And also, be sure to check out the other tutorials that we made on Kajabi plans, pipelines, and products.